this is onto your uh, drive clutch here. You have this bolt that has a notch in it and then numbers all around it. And uh, those numbers indicate um, what RPM setting you're going to have. So right now I have it on number two. Number one would be here, two, four, six, three, and five. Um, and each one you increase. So if I go from two to three, that should increase my top end RPM by about 200. And if I go from three to four, it's another 200 and so on. These here are on a, um, a bolt with a nut on the end. So what you'd have to do is back this bolt or this nut off, not all the way, but just so the top of this comes out, you can then spin it to the number you want. Now these quick clickers, what they allow you to do is put an Allen key in here, push it out, and then adjust, and it'll come right back, just like so. So I'll show you how to install those. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a 10 millimeter uh, wrench and just back this off. It's a little tedious, but basically take that nut right off. And uh, the, the main thing you have to do is just make sure that the, um, the bolt does not come out of the um, housing because there's a washer in there. And uh, then you'll have to take your clutch completely apart. So once you get that off, um, basically just take a wire brush, clean up the threads on the, um, the bolt there, and then you're going to take uh, your quick clicker, and what this thing is, is basically a, a nut, it's 13 millimeter, there's a set screw in there, I'm going to make sure that set screw is flush um, with the top here, and then it has this spring on it, and it's threaded on the inside, there's some red Loctite on there as well, on the, um, on the end of that set screw. So we're going to uh, put it on like so, push down. Once the thread's engaged, give it about three turns and uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so she's on there now. Uh, one thing I did fail to mention first is with all those numbers on there, what we're going to do is actually um, kind of um, score those off just to make the bolt uh, turn a little bit easier. So you do have to make reference to those somewhere. So I've just taken a little piece of paper um, and, you know, the clutch is that line there and I've marked off where all the, um, the numbers are and I can just hang on to that or take a picture of it on my phone in case I forget. But, um, you know, during the season you probably won't have any trouble remembering, but when you get back to it the following year, uh, you may, you may want to have that for reference. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is take a 13 mil wrench. We are going to hold on um, right here. And then with the supplied uh, T-handle Allen key, we are going to tighten down that set screw. Okay, so those are all tight. And now what you'll see is I can push that bolt head out by pushing in on the allen key. Now what I'm going to have to do is just turn that a few times and like I say that'll score the uh, top side of the housing and then uh, we'll, be ha we'll have free movement once that's scored. So I'm just going to push that in and out a few times just to clear any debris that's in there and then um, after that push that out with my thumb I'm going to take my 13 mil wrench and put it on um, the bolt side and then I'm just going to rotate that back and forth a few times to score the uh, top of the housing. Okay, so you can see that's done. Basically what I've done is just moved it around to each setting to make sure it moves freely. And uh, now all you do to adjust, you just stick your Allen key in there, push up and rotate. It's kind of hard with one hand. You almost need one hand to hold the clutch. And then just rotate clockwise and you can adjust that to whatever position you like. So you just got to make sure they're all set on the same position. So mine are all started on number two. That's where I'm going to leave them. And that's basically the install. So that'll help you um, adjust for different uh, conditions. You may have uh, heavy powder or light powder. That one's on five, so I need to adjust this one back. Okay.
Okay, so now they're all set to two and we're ready to go. So the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just take this uh, T-handle Allen wrench that they give you, add it to your tool kit, just so you can make quick adjustments out on the lake or on the trail, wherever you're riding. Um, you know, you can go from probably taking, um, you know, five, six, seven minutes to make an adjustment now to doing it in under a minute. So it just makes everything a lot quicker, a lot easier when you're trying to dial in your sled.